Instagram has a version of Finders Keepers where artists around town use social media for a scavenger hunt. So the picture they post on Instagram is the clue, and the first person to find it gets to keep that art free. Joe Fenton tagged along with Indie Mugs as the artist there hid one of his own treasures. Mug drop. I'm going to do first of two this weekend. Okay. Because I missed one last weekend. Good to go. So I've gone through some sort of phases. I've sort of settled now on the indie design, which all the recent ones I've done. And it was at the end of last year when The Last Jedi came out. So I was hiding a bunch of Star Wars mugs for that. And then prior to that, it was random. Just whatever I happened to make. I didn't really have anything I was going for particularly. I would just make sort of whatever happened, and that's what I would hide. So this is my first day, first hour. We were actually getting food at the IEPY dining hall. Alex knew that it was going to come out today or whatever, mm -hmm. so he was on the hunt waiting for the mm -hmm. post, and then once the post came, he was literally running to the car so we could get over here. <laughs> I mean, usually it seems like if if 20 minutes has gone by, someone's about to find it, so you have to be there within like 20 minutes. Usually what happens is I kind of think, like, oh, I'll wait and see if I see anybody claim it. And I'll wait usually just under 10 minutes, and I'm like, eh, I'm tired of waiting, I'll leave. Mm -hmm. And then five minutes after I've left, mm -hmm. I get a claim. My hot or cold? You're pretty hot. Oh, he hit it more. So this is actually... I think the fourth or fourth or fifth mug we've found collectively. Are the clues easy or hard? Usually they're pretty easy. Like usually we know where they are, but every once in a while there's a mural in the picture that we've never seen or we don't remember where it is. So it's actually kind of cool because we've learned more about the city while we've been hunting the mugs. It gives me an excuse to keep doing pottery. Um, it's not a living for me. Obviously I don't make money on indie mugs, um, giving them away. But it, I, I really enjoy pottery. This allows me to continue making stuff that I want to make. It's just a fun thing to kind of watch happen. Got it. I got it. <laughs> well, you can follow the hashtags Indie Art Drop and hashtag Free Art Indie to see when artists will hide their work. We wish you good luck. Sounds like fun. Yeah.